All right, fam, let's get right into it. If you did the Hero Wad the other day, we recommend that you actually don't work out today or do something lighter like a casual walk or a light jog. But the lactic acid burn and buildup is going to be severe. And the DOMS that you feel, that delayed onset muscle soreness, will be hitting hard on Saturday. But if you're going to do the program, this is how we're going to do it. Start off with uh, some Tabata work. It's going to be uh, EMOM every 90 seconds for 10 rounds, so 15 minutes total. Uh. We're going to get into the first movement, which is the hollow rock. We're looking to make sure there's no gap underneath your lower back, right? So what I do is I draw my knees to my chest, get that lower back touching, and then I push out to the hollow position. From here, I'm going to bang out 10 reps. Maintain that shape, no sharp angles. As crossfitters, we want shapes, not sharp angles, right? If we can't do the normal hollow rock, we can do a single leg. Makes it a little bit easier. And if we can't do the modified version, we can do a hollow hold. And we'll go for about 20 to 30 seconds. The next movement is a pretty com complex gymnastic movement. It's called the V-up, right? You're laying flat on the ground, and you're going to fold getting your hands to touch your ankles like so. If we can't do that, we can do single leg, which help, which is a little bit easier because of the flexibility and strength issues. But if we can't do this version, we can do tuck-ups. And instead of kicking our feet up, we're just gonna draw our knees to our chest. All three of these versions are very, very difficult. 10 reps and then rest. Last movement of the EMOM, so there's three movements is gonna be the sit-up. I'm demonstrating butterfly style. This is the harder of the two versions that we have. It targets the abs more, eliminates our ability to use our quads. If we put our knees together, that's a more traditional one that will help you use your quads. After the skill Patrick has programmed a workout called Jackie-ish, it's a little take on it. Instead of a row, it's a run, you're gonna run 800 meters, then do 50 hang power cleans. Uh, you can hang from anywhere above the knees. We're looking for fast cycling. Here's from one profile. And these uh, options I'm hanging from the top of my knees. If you're a stronger athlete, you can do a hip hang power clean. So cycling's faster, but it taxes the forearms more. Here's what's gonna look like from the side profile. For the hang cleans to be started, you have to stand the weight all the way up and then move down the quad. You can't just go from the ground. So stand it up and then cycle, boom. and into the hip cleans. You're gonna see faster cycling, but my forearms are tearing faster. Just depends on how efficient you are. After you finish 50 of those, you're gonna be doing 30 pull-ups. If you don't have pull-ups, we're gonna do bent over rows. For the 30 pull-ups, you can do strict, you can do kipping, or you can do butterfly. For the bent over rows, Then take that normal clean grip, deadlift grip, send it all the way up, hinge at the hips, soft knees. Full range of motion, you wanna make contact with the lower part of your sternum, lower part of your rib cage. Bang out 30 of those as quickly as possible. Have fun with this one, stay safe and be well.